Well, Daryl, we'll start off just with your uh, your battle wound from Saturday. How's the lip? How's the mouth? How are the teeth? Yeah, the lips are it's a, it's a, it's a bit burst open and the the teeth's a bit wobbly, but um, now it's all right. I think it made work well getting the getting the win and the and the clean sheet was nice too. Yeah. Or part of being a defender. Yeah, that's it. You got to put your put your body um, where maybe you wouldn't put it usually, but yeah, I'm happy. Here. And how was the experience of playing against West Ham and making another appearance in the first team on Saturday? Yeah, it was great. I mean, uh, making any appearances here is, is great for me and that's my aim is to play as many times as possible. So to play at such a, a big stadium like that against a great team was great for me. It was a great learning curve. Um, yeah, and it just made me hungry for more. And you're up against some experienced Premier League players as well over on the right-hand side of defence. You had Aaron Cresswell and Manuel Lanzini coming at you and then in the second half, Mikhail Antonio as well. What was it like to, to test yourself against those types of players? Yeah, it was good. I mean, testing yourself at the highest level is what you want to do and, and then players are great players too so again it was just great for me to learn from from these players to see what they do to see how I try to combat and stuff but um, yeah it was a great learning curve. And it came 24 hours after signing your new three and a half year contract here at the football club so all in all a great couple of days for you. Yeah outstanding I, my family were there as well to watch the game so it was great obviously to, to sign a new deal here and then go out the next day and play another game. Was it a long process or was it quite quick? Um, to be fair, it was quite quick. I think I knew I wanted to stay here and I think the club did too, so it was, it was fairly easy to, to sort out. What conversations have you had with Slaven over the last couple of weeks? Um, yeah, I think he's just, he's just happy with me as well. Um, I mean, I'm just here to, to try getting his eye line and try, try and press him as, as well, so that's all I'm trying to do really. And uh, yeah, hopefully he'll give me a few more chances to play. He said to us last week that you're not only part of the future, you're part of the present. Do you feel that way at the moment? Do you feel part of the first team squad and very much in his plans? Yeah, definitely. I think this season really I feel I feel part of the squad. Obviously I'm in the change room now, which is huge for me and training every day, which is great. Um, I think when I signed here as a scholar, I used to walk down past the training every day and just think I want to be there and now I'm actually here, it's great for me. Of course Slavin was a defender himself when he played. How much can you learn from him and how much have you already learned from him on the training pitch so far this season? Yeah, I've learned so much already. I think as soon as he come in, I kind of like have my eyes on him, seeing what information he was going to give me and stuff like this. But from him being a past player as well, it helps me greatly. But as a manager too, his, his, his knowledge is just, is just huge. And playing at right back, Dar, it's not something that you've done too much of, is it, throughout your career? But you've been thrown in there at first team level and you've seemed to have taken to it very, very quickly. Yeah, no, I'm not usually a right-back, I'm normally a centre-back, but I think I don't really mind where I play, I'm just happy to get out and play. Um, I feel like I can do a job in most places as well, which is, which is great for me, but yeah, if the gaffer puts me right-back, then I'm more than happy to play right-back. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, yeah, I loved it. Um, it's obviously different from centre-back, I can get up a bit more and I can uh, open my legs a bit more, which is great for me. And what are your hopes, what are your aims, Dara, because you're here for at least another three and a half years, what would you like to achieve at the end of that time? At the end of that time I hope to be playing regularly here, that's my aim, that's been my aim since I signed as a scholar was to get into the first team and be a regular and that's not going to change now after signing a new deal. And just looking ahead, Cardiff City tomorrow back to, to league action, we've stuttered in the league recently but how much of a boost could that win on Saturday be? Yeah it could kick us off again really, I think uh, a few results have gone our way as well as of us dropping a few points but I think the game's huge to, to kind of get our form back in track. Obviously the win against West Ham will have helped, it will give us a bit more confidence going into it but yeah it's a real, it's a real good game to, to get ourselves back on track.